Swiggity Swag, what's in the bag, Jay here, and I am bringing you guys another top 5 video, and this time this is going to be the top 5 Unova Pokemon that I feel should get evolutions or pre-evolutions in Pokemon X and Y. Now keep in mind that this list is fully opinionated, so by no means you are obligated to agree with my opinion, but as long as you respect my opinion, I will respect yours. And hey, if you do not agree with my opinion, then please feel free to leave your own list in the comments section below, but now let's go ahead and jump into this. So the Pokemon who is number 5 on my list is Basculin, and Basculin is really on my list just for design reasons only, like honestly, stat wise this Pokemon is really not that bad. Not only that, but it has the ability, adaptability, and I think some other abilities as well. I'm not really sure, but I'm pretty sure this thing gets adaptability, and that is a pretty damn good ability, especially on a, a Pokemon like Basculin who has a decent attack stat. So Aqua Jet will be doing so much more damage because of Stab, but I mean, I really want this thing to evolve just because, I mean, it kind of just falls short as a Pokemon of like of its design. It just falls short in my opinion, and I wouldn't mind seeing um, a bigger, beastlier looking type of fish or something. That might not be a legitimate reason for you guys, but to me, that's a very decent reason just you know just for design wise just for design features that's really all I'm looking for in Basculin. So the Pokemon who hits number four on my list is Audino and Audino is on my list because I treat Audino like everyone else treats Audino. I treat Audino like a Gen 5 Chansey and Chansey has a full evolution line despite it having insanely high HP and like decent special defense. Um, Honestly, I feel that, you know, Audino is just another Chansey, and I mean, it's kind of bad to say this, but I mean, I find it to be another Chansey, so I would like for it to, you know, have like maybe a full line like Chansey, so I mean, that would be pretty cool. That would be pretty, that would be pretty cool to me if, you know, Audino became like Chansey, because I, obviously people are saying this thing is like a Chansey ripoff or something. So you might as well just go all the way and just make it to be like Chansey, you know, make it evolve into some blissy looking thing and have a pre-evolution of some tiny Chansey looking thing or something like that. That's basically why I want Audino to, you know, evolve or just really have a full evolution line, period. So the Pokemon who hits number three on my list is Emolga. And I know, again, it's wrong for me to say this because I'm saying this about a lot of Pokemon, but Emolga is like a Pachirisu to me. Honestly, I think the whole gaming community was mad when they found out that Pachirisu did not evolve into this thing. So, you know, in all honesty, there's really no real way to connect those two in terms of evolutions or anything like that. So why not just give Emolga some type of, you know, faster beastlier flying squirrel type evolution i mean emolga is already annoying as fuck but at the same time there's still a little bit more room for evolution in terms of you know stat stat wise there's a little bit more room because you know you can give it a little bit more speed a little bit more maybe special attack or something make it a little bit more useful i mean it has such great typing too i mean it's electric flying the only other electric flying type pokemon is zapdos and you know they're not gonna hopefully they don't touch Zapdos or anything with you know these mega evolutions and whatnot but I mean come on it's type it has very good typing and it, they should t totally just take that and just abuse that so the Pokemon who's hitting number two on my list is Bufalon and I would like to see Bufalon get a pre-evolution of some kind you know because let's, let's see People group this thing with Tauros. People are like, Tauros should have evolved into this thing. But the thing is, though, is that Bufalon is a buffalo. And Tauros is a bull. And bulls can only be male, but Bufalon can be male or female. So that kind of just throws that out of the window. Not only that, but they both have the same base stat total. So an evolution wouldn't even do it any anything at all. Like, Bufalon can hit harder, but Tauros is a lot faster. So, um... I mean that's that but I would just like to see Bufalon get a pre-evolution because I mean I mean if you're gonna group it with Tauros and Miltank or something like that then I want them to I want them to to get a pre-evolution so you know hey why not Bufalon too I mean it, it would make a little bit more sense to me if Bufalon got a pre-evolution with like a little tiny mini afro or something like that would be that would be really really cool in my opinion 
and we finally make it to my number one choice and my number one choice is Alamomola and now all I know everybody wanted love discs to evolve into Alamomola and I do not understand why Game Freak did not just take us up on that offer and do it like honestly that pissed me off about Gen 5 the fact that love this did not evolve into Alamomola so I mean I would like to see Alamomola get some type of pre-evolution now as for what type of pre-evolution I guess maybe a, a fishy looking form of love disc or something I mean honestly honestly I, I mean there's really no way for them to connect love disc with Alamomola now but they could at least give Alamomola some type of pre-evolution or something you know I mean just you know maybe a love disc rip off or something like that's all I'm asking for I really do not care what they do as long as they just give it a pre-evolution I mean honestly though I don't understand why Game Freak did not connect love disc with Alamomola like I mean I know Gen 5 was supposed to be all about you know re uh, like a fresh start or something but I mean Gen 5 fell kind of short for me personally so I don't know I really would just like to see Alamola get a pre-evolution in general uh, some sort of love disc rip off or something that would make me pretty content and I think you know a lot of other people will probably be you know a little bit more content with that too and that ladies and gentlemen wraps it up for my top five unit of Pokemon that I would like to see if get evolutions or pre-evolutions in Pokemon X and Y and like I said if you did not agree then leave your own list in the comments and also leave a like if you enjoyed this video and next time I will be doing a top five Pokemon that I would like to see get retyped as fairy in Pokemon X and Y so stay tuned and uh, see you guys later